Hi, I'm David Jacob, the Regional Science Coordinator for Putnam Northern Westchester BOCES and the Coordinator for the Science 21 program. Today I'm going to give you an overview of how to use the Science 21 Companion Guide. This companion guide was designed to help you prepare for the 2021 school year by providing guidance on how to adapt the Science 21 curriculum for different learning environments. Let's start by logging into the Science 21 website. You will need your district username and password. This was given out at training, or you should contact your building administrator. Remember, this is a district-wide password. If you have seven failed login attempts in one day, you will lock the password for everyone in your district. You will then need an administrator to contact Nancy Pichotti to reset the password. The website address is pnwboces.org slash science21, or just search Science 21 using your browser search engine. Science 21 has two different curricula, types of curricula. The K-3 is aligned to the 2017 New York State Science Learning Standards. Grades 4 through 6 is aligned to the 1996 Math Science Technology Learning Standards. Each of these grade level pages looks slightly different. The K-3 pages have one big color block in the center, which you click on to get into onto the web page. For grades 4 through 6, there are four color blocks. Click on the green Curriculum Assessment and Standards block to get onto the web page. For both curricula web pages, you are looking for the School Closure Companion Guide. For K-3, the links look like this. For 4-6, the links look like this. At this recording, we have not completed all the companion guides, but check back soon because these web pages are frequently updated. There are two different links which represent two different documents. The first one is the Teacher Companion Guide in PDF format. The other is the Reproducibles file, which is student pages and home lesson facilitator notes in Microsoft Word. Let's review each of these documents. I will use the Kindergarten Companion Guide and the Grade 3 Reproducibles for demonstration purposes, but the structure is the same for Kindergarten through Grade 3. For Grade 4 through 6, the front matter is slightly different because the standards are different, but the bulk of the document structure is the same. I will use Grade 6 for demonstration purposes. Let's start with the Companion Guide. This part of the, part of the Curriculum Guide refers, reviews the elements of the plan and some of the terms we use in the guide. You should read this front matter carefully because it explains all the components in depth and will give you insight on how to actualize the at-home and at-school differentiation. Let's review a few key elements of the Companion Guide. The designation at school, which is represented by the at symbol, the word school, in red, this designation indicates that it is critical for the teacher to be involved in the instruction to clarify the focus of the disciplinary core ideas for students and how to use the science and engineering practices and the cross-cutting concepts during investigations, discussions, and all aspects of the lessons. These steps could be adapted to a virtual classroom environment either synchronously, synchronously or asynchronously based on the guidance in the document. The des next designation is at home. For at home, it is the at symbol, the word home, in color purple. This designation indicates steps that can be completed with or without direct teacher support by the individual student with support at home. These steps could be conducted in the school environment depending on the amount of student contact you have during various schedules that you may encounter next year. Our goal was to keep the at-school instruction to about one-third of each lesson and the at-home to about two-thirds of each lesson. But that was not always possible in some cases. Um, in some cases, we were able to actually increase it to two-thirds, more than two-thirds of the lesson at home, but that was dependent on the focus of the lesson. The next term that we use is the word lesson facilitator. This denotes the person who will help the student to accomplish the lesson at home. We have decided to use this term rather than the parent because the person who is supporting the student's learning may not necessarily be the parent, but instead could be another relative, an older sibling, or an alternative caregiver. We use color coding extensively throughout this plan. Each lesson uses the color red to denote at school tasks and the color purple to denote at-home tasks. You will see these colors throughout the document, 
for you to quickly identify which is a teacher-based part of the lesson and which is a student-based part of the lesson. Student pages. In the original Science 21 curriculum, we designed open-ended student pages that were intended to give the students as much opportunity to engage in sense-making during the science instruction. We have created new student pages that are designed with more guidance and support for the lesson facilitator. This new reproducibles file may have original student pages and new at-home lesson pages combined into one place. The new at-home pages will have a purple box in the right-hand corner. Materials. We also have a section that will provide suggestions on how to distribute the materials from the Science 21 kits so students can conduct these investigations at home. Books. All of the Science 21 books have been converted into read aloud videos that are posted on YouTube and are linked in this document. You can also download the PDF of the Science 21 books from the web website and share this file with families. The entire Science 21 curriculum was de designed around cooperative learning groups, which will be difficult to envision in for the foreseeable future. But this does not mean that cooperative thinking is impossible. In the companion guide, we provide suggestions on how a student may be able to carry out a task at home, but the teacher can process the learning in the at-school environment cognitively. Another way for us to think about co cooperative learning is for us to consider the teacher as lab partner option. This was borrowed from Susan Gray, a second grade teacher that used this strategy in the spring. She asked her students how could she set up the investigation, solicited their observations, and then had the students record what they observed on the student page. She answered questions and helped them process the, the science ideas, the cross-cutting concepts, and demonstrated the science and engineering practices. This is a great example of minds-on learning. Although students don't have the hands-on experience, they are engaging cognitively. During this unusual educational experience that we are looking at next year, we want to inspire continued curiosity, wonder, and the joy of figuring stuff out. This section is specific for the grade K through three curriculum. We have outlined the importance of the vision of the new science learning standards. The importance of using the three dimensions of the standards for student sense making. The term sense making is a cornerstone of the contemporary science education and is intended for students to use the practices and cross cutting concepts to explore science ideas through tasks and questions. The student is given multiple experiences to connect to their prior experiences to the bigger science ideas. This section is an overview of the standards for this unit. In K3, you will see the familiar colors of the three dimensions and the performance expectations. We have made some subtle changes by creating some teacher and student friendly language for the disciplinary core ideas. In four through six, we have outlined the MST standards for this unit. In all curriculum, we have added a table of contents and an acknowledgement of the science educator that helped prepare the document. The next section is a letter that we have written that can be used by the teacher to send home to student families to give them some idea of what's in store for this science unit. We also provide some simple materials that they may want to have on hand to help support these lessons. The next section is the bulk of the document. In the far left column, we give you a lesson by lesson suggestions for how to turn each lesson into an at school experience. Remember the color red represents at school tasks or an at-home experience. The color purple represents at-home tasks. Since these conditions during the next school year may change week to week or month to month, these two designations are flexible. School may be in the same physical space or in a synchronous online space or an asynchronous online space. Any at-home task could become an at-school task if the conditions warrant more person in-person student contact time. In the middle column, we have the materials section, which has the same color coding of red and purple. This guidance shows the materials in red, which represents what the teacher should have on hand to demonstrate in any at-school experience, and the materials in purple represent what should go home with students. For some lessons, there were not enough materials in the kit for every student to do the task individually. There are a few ways to manage this. 
You could employ the teacher as lab partner strategy that I mentioned earlier in this video with the synchronous or synchronous at, uh, environment. You could send the materials home with a few representative students and rotate those students through different lessons. In some cases, the materials are so simple that you could suggest that all students can engage in the lessons with other material suggestions that you will find in the guide. And of course, you may devise a way more creative solution to this challenge than we've provided for you. When the students return the materials, please return the, the items of the non-consume part of the kit and we will sanitize them upon return to our warehouse. We have also designated a student pages section with the number and names of the pages for easy reference in the reproducibles guide. The far right columns show the three dimensions that exist in the original curriculum. This will help remind you to reinforce the practices, the science ideas, and the cross-cutting concepts. Here is an example of the sixth grade curriculum. You will see we have om omitted the three-dimensional column as I just mentioned, because the three dimensions are not listed in the 1996 MST standards this way. The format of this companion guide allows you a large amount of flexibility in how you use these lessons. We expect that over the school year, we may see changes in location and format of the instruction that we provide to students. The student pages are provided in Word to add more flexibility into the nature of this plan. You can modify or break up a lesson into smaller chunks. You know your students best and how best to tailor these lessons to the demands of your classroom. Now let's talk about the curriculum repro reproducibles file that is a compendium uh, that is a compendium of every parent letter, student page, and home lesson facilitator page you will need for these Science 21 lessons. We have uploaded them in Word so you have the most flexibility to upload them to any electronic platform that you may be using or can be converted to PDF so you can email them home or printed and shipped home. This will be different for each of the districts that Science 21 serves. We also have provided these pages for the grade six curriculum uh, in Word, which we have never done before, but this will also help aid those teachers as well. This is an example of one of our lengthier home facilitator pages from grade three for the question formulation technique lesson. We have been able to create a format that allows the entire question formulation technique task to be done at home, but would need extensive home facilitator support. Most lesson facilitator pages are much shorter. We have tried to do as much as possible for the teacher so it's ready to be sent home. Of course, you can modify and personalize any of this communication to meet you and your students' needs. Here's an example of a student page designated for at-home instruction. You can see we have coded this page with a purple box so it's easy for the teacher to identify that this is new or has been significantly modified. In some, cases, page, in some cases, the student pages have been unchanged and we have coded this page with the traditional yellow box from our original curriculum. We'll now take a look at our grades four through six pages so you can see those modifications. You can see this is a similar a cover page and parent letter. Now this page should be familiar to you from the grade six curriculum. The improvement are these pages are now accessible in Word and you can upload them to any electronic path, platform that you may be using. It can, can be converted into a PDF, emailed home, printed, or once again shipped home. Here's another example of a new student page with the purple color coding in the upper right hand corner. This is a facilitator page that will help work with the black box task. Thank you for your attention today, and I hope that this helps you continue to provide quality science teaching and learning in the upcoming school year.